Hey everyone, it's Gareth Pearson here, and if you're new to my channel, please click on the like, subscribe, and notification button. We'll be updated on all my latest videos. Today we're going to look at Trails of M&Ms. This is a song of mine that's on my Urban Echoes Volume 2 album. And as always, if you want to follow along with the sheet music and tablature, there's a link in the description section below. So I'm going to perform this now and then break it down section by section. So here we go. Trails of M&Ms. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Okay, so that's Trails of M&Ms. Let's break this down, but before we do, we'll talk about the key information. I'm in standard tuning, and I have a thumb pick on to help with the bum chick sounds, and that's all we need to know, okay? So let's have a look at the intro. I'll play it slowly for you, and then break it down. So we're basically playing this D minor chord, okay, with our middle ring and pinky finger. And then we're pulling off from the seventh to the sixth fret on the G string, okay? And then my thumb is coming down on the D string and doubling up like that. So I'll show you. That's the first thing that we do. And then I get to this D. It's kind of like a suspended chord. I come, come down and I'm grabbing the G, B 
and high E string. It's like a, a big pinch. And then I play the same top chord, but then with the low E fretted with the fifth. So I'm kind of like, I'm like brushing up with my thumb pick and then coming down with a bit of a percussive beat and starting the cycle again. So that's the introduction. Now let's have a look at the A section. So I'll play this again slowly and then we'll break it down. Okay, so we're starting with this A major chord, playing with a boom trick pattern. And that means I'm basically muting the low E, A and D string. While playing the boom trick thumb. And then we get to this G7 with the nine and flat five on it. off there and hammering on then we get to this D major 7 with an F sharp on the bass and then an F and you can see I'm pulling off with my middle finger there then G back to A While we're looking at the A section, we can also look at the variations that I'm doing on it too, which goes like this. So that's basically Okay, I'm just adding in percussive hits And then my thumb comes to the back Near the bridge And I strum up like that So So that's just a slight variation that I do on the A section. So now let's look at going into the B section. So for the B section, we're basically climbing from an F to a C. And it goes like this. One, two. break this down for you that climb is basically this strumming pattern it's just an a down up down up kind of thing until we get to C and then we continue with this bum check and then the melody goes like this okay so that's C then E minor 7 And then we pump the bass instead of doing a bum check we pump it on the a string so we're in a minor now 
and we play these sixths. So that's a slide into the fifth fret there. Then open. Um, we have like an open E and an A. Then to an A minor chord. So. Then here. And that's basically a bar on the third fret with our thumb, sorry, our middle finger on the fourth fret low E. And our ring finger on the fifth fret G string, pinky finger, fifth fret B string. And we're pulling off and hammering on there. Okay. That's an F. And then here, which is. Uh, a C suspended fourth and then I basically climb up here I hit the low E string and my thumb will grab the, the first fret on the low E and then slide it up to C and I continue on with the pattern okay same thing and I change it here So instead of, I go, and then, and that's basically my pinky finger on the sixth fret, low E string, while I'm barring down on the third, and I'm pulling off then. fourth fret to the barred third so let's do it now I get to this F and that's basically this my index finger is on the low G there and my middle finger is on the B and I'm, I'm pulling off from the second fret G string to an open G. And then my thumb's coming down on the D string there. So. G and A, and then back into the A section. Okay, so leading into the C section, we play the melody, the theme. Then the intro lick. And then we hit this A. And then pump the A which will then lead us into that. So let me show you now. Okay. So then we slide into the, the chords. And that's basically a G chord there. While we're playing the A bass. All this, by the way, is basically an A bass, so I'll play it for you. F. Play these sixths. And we get to that G. So the chords here. straightforward I'll play it slowly for you one more time one two three four C 
section. Sometimes I do this a little bit differently, depending on my mood, but I'll have this C here. Sometimes instead of going straight E minor, sometimes I like to play the, the B bass first. So we'll go like... And then back into the that. So that's just a couple of things I like to do. So now knowing that, let's have a look at the outro lick here. So again, we're playing the theme. Same as the intro. I basically do this one more chord. That's basically uh, like an E, E suspended fourth. And I strum down on this chord here, which is basically an A chord, but with the open B and E string ringing on. So. That's everything you need to know on Trails of M&Ms. Thanks again for joining me on this lesson. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. We will be updated on all my latest videos. Thanks again. Take care. And as always, God bless. Cheers, guys.